and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and today we're going to be talking about uh, the Sulaban cell ship. But before I get started, please remember if you like what you see, click that like and subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications so that you are notified when I post a new video. Alright, so let's get to it. So I have here a Sulaban cell ship. Okay, this comes from the uh, Romulan Survivor Pack. It is a lieutenant level ship, so you can use it as, you know, straight out of the tutorial. I don't recommend it for actual fighting, but the Sulaban cell ship is quite popular and I'm about to show you why. So, in getting to it, first thing I'm going to show you, uh, Sulaban cell ship can be used for marauding as a substitute for going all around um, all different places in the galaxy and getting those marauding duty officer missions, you know, like all of these, assault, raid, forced labor, etc, 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 right? Okay, so the way it's used instead of marauding is you find the spot you like. Now, there's a couple places in the galaxy that are really good. I like the Argelius system. It's a binary star. You see they're right here. And I like to go over the right hand, right about in the center of the star, right above there. And then what I do is I go on to my bridge. Now, when I go on to my bridge, you're like, but Kirby, you didn't do any marauding missions. You're right, I didn't. I'll tell you why in a second. As soon as it loads and it's going slow, slowing, slowing, slowing. Oh my God, it's slowing. Come on, just get your loading. Come on. Alrighty, so as you can see, we have finally loaded in to our Sulaban cell ship. Now, we're going to start with the marauding, and then I'll go on and give you some other features of the ship. So, for the marauding, as you can see, normal. Now, I have access to all of the space missions. Even though I'm on the ground, because I'm on my ship, I have access to all of the space missions. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the marauding ones. I'm going to go operations. I'm going to take my resettle colonists. I'm going to see, do I have, I do have colonists from Admiralty. So I'm going to unlock five of these and I'm going to do my deport to perimeter get my extra 500 dilithium for that and now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do my normal everyday marauding things here and I'm gonna go down and one and there and again I'm looking for a seizure unauthorized, raid, disable, any of those things and I'm just going through it quickly because I know what I'm looking for and I'm gonna look and see if there are any forced labor excuse me there turn that off any forced labor requisitions there are not now you know, okay so what's so special okay well here's what's so special now I'm gonna go over to my right to this guy right here and I'm going to go marauding contact and he's gonna give me a whole new set of marauding missions now maybe I'll be able to use them maybe I won't these I don't happen to be able to use but I can also go over and go to my tactical and they'll often give me ah come on it's being stingy today 
okay but these it does usually it does usually give others that you can use that are quite easy to use now okay so this allows you to get a few extra assignments and basically makes it much faster to do your marauding if you're doing your marauding on Klingons but so why else should you get a Sulaban cell ship well I will tell you you have access to a trader okay that'll give you trading duty officer assignments if that's what you're looking for okay you also have access to your ship selector so you can see I can select any of my active ships you also have and this is pretty cool exchange bank and mail okay you also have now this used to be a big thing back when fleets took these commodities not so much anymore but you used to have a quartermaster and these prices for many of these things are the best in the galaxy you're not going to beat you're not going to find a better price you also have the ability to sell things for 50 percent uh, at this uh, vendor okay in addition to all of that if we come back over here to our contact duty officers you notice it has Tau Dewa aid so Tau Dewa aid this gives you a number of Sulaban uh, themed duty officer missions now you can only pick one at a time and they take five days to do but they all give duty officers and now if you happen to crit and you get a very rare duty officer some of those duty officers can be worth 30 50 and upwards millions of EC so it's definitely worth taking the time and doing like one of these missions every week okay so and you can see like if I do this one right so I get my reward is a special duty officer and whatnot okay and you can see it takes a number of I've got a good amount of chance for for a decent officer here and click begin this also these duty officer missions do not count against your total for assignment slots so so there you go now um, if you are going to make the investment and buy a Suluban cell ship and they are pricey okay let's look it up here okay so you can see here they are about a hundred million EC so they are pricey if you are going to make the the investment here is what I recommend I recommend buying it and then giving it to a secondary account okay and I will explain why okay if you get it and you put it on one character on your account that is the only character that gets access to it so if you're wanting to do marauding on 10 different Klingon tunes you would have to buy 10 Suleiman cell ships well that gets quite pricey quite quickly and I wouldn't recommend doing that but if you have your cell ship on a secondary account all you have to do is call up your main account and use the bridge invitation like so so I have this is my main account and I'm going to use this on my free-to-play account like so
and now I just switch to my free-to-play account I accept the bridge invitation and now because I am not using it on the account on this free-to-play account right because I am using it because the the ship is on a different account I can invite all of my characters on my free-to-play account up to the bridge and quite easily do this procedure on all of the characters on my free-to-play account okay so as we can see going through and you may notice on different characters you're gonna get different things that's fine and normal Ooh, forced labor that's completely fine and normal so don't freak out and you can see so you can see I've already gotten nine assignments here sorry ten assignments here some of which I already had I had seven assignments that I got from that run over here and marauding let's see ah yes see so you can see here it did give me new ones that I can use and I got three extra assignments from there now this does not give me as much as flying around the galaxy will but it gives me enough that I'm getting that I can still get more contraband than what I use every day so I can still build up my contraband and uh, and get uh, build up my stacks and share it with other characters so and you can see now I'm switching tunes and because my cell ship is on a different account I can now go back to this account that has the cell ship type in the first three letters use the autofill invite and now again I can simply invite the new character and there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy and now I've got this character doing the assignments from first this area of space which this intersects with a couple doffing areas and gives you an extra amount of assignments which is why we choose this area because you get more out of it than you would in other areas of the system and you can see no forced labor on this one so I go over and again marauding and I got an extra capture what else do I got ooh couple raids raids are good I like raids seizure and unauthorized raid there we go and maybe I'll get lucky and get some forced labor on here but you get the idea if you put this on a secondary account rather than your main account that you want to use it on if you put it on a secondary account then every character on your main account has access to it via the bridge invite feature whereas if you put it on one character on the account you want to use it on only that character has access to it so I highly recommend if you're going to make the investment and get a Suliban cell ship to help with marauding or to just give you access to the Tau Dewa missions etc etc then definitely put it on a a second alt account 
alternate account and that way give your entire main account access to it via the bridge invite system so there you have it the Sulaban cell ship what makes it great and recommendations for how to use it this is teacher Kirby signing off